so Ali's over there with his best friend, literally. <laughs> wow. Ali, come. Yes. Good boy. So what we're doing today, you guys, is we're actually we're doing e-collar stuff. So this is gonna be think of it like your yes, your Bluetooth leash. If you don't have your leash, you're gonna use this, right? He's not gonna wear his leash all the time, especially in the house. So this is gonna be your best friend. And I wanna kind of just okay. So I'm gonna let him get away from me. I'm gonna press his button, and once I see him feel it, I'm gonna call his name. Let's see. Let's. See. We're waiting for body language signals to see if he feels it. Ali, come! Yes, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He's pretty sensitive. That's a good boy. Okay. What's he running on? Four? Five. Wow. Yeah, and this is on a mini. Right. Yeah. Good boy, Ali. So, <laughs> so then he knows this feeling means I have something for you, right? And we do a lot of repetition of this. So then there's no doubt in his mind that when he feels this, he's going to get something. Once he understands that fully, Ali, yes, good boy, good boy. Once he understands that fully, <laughs> then we can say, he's got the zoomies. He does. Then we can say, okay, now that you come to me, how about you down? How about you go place or sit or whatever? But it's gonna be important that he understands that this basic foundation of this e-collar is positive. And then we can build on that positivity and make more engagement, more motivation for the training, right? So, Ollie, come. Yeah, good boy. That's a man. Come here. Oh God. In the world. Wow, Ollie, bud. Come. Yeah, good boy. Place. Yes. Okay. Ollie, place. Yes. Okay. Good boy. Ollie, go place. Come here. Yeah, there you go. Good dog. Good job, buddy. Good. Okay. Go place. Yes. Awesome. Take the zoomy energy and make it into some fun stuff, right? Use it for your obedience. Look at him. He's like, okay. <laughs> Good job. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Okay. Ali, come. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good boy. Show off. So you can see how we can really take this thing that people traditionally use it in not a positive way and make it very positive, right? If you ever heard of Pavlov's bell, ring the bell, feed the dog, hit the button, feed the dog, right? Let him feel the feeling, feed the dog. And what we're doing is we're finding the lowest level that he works at. So right now he's literally out of five outside. With out of 100. Dog. Yeah, that's pretty low, out of 100. Five out of 100. I can't feel the mini educator until like 35. Which is the speech. double strength. No. Nah, oh, the micro. One. Yeah, I can't. Oh, yeah, this is the micro, not the mini. That throws me too. Yeah, 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 same. Because they're both like they're both minis and mm -hmm. micros. I don't know. Okay, come. Yes. And you notice how every time I say his name, it's very pleasant. Okay, go go. So that he knows, like, hey, this is, I got something for you, baby. Like, come on, come on over here. It's gonna be a good time, right? And now he's tired. He's like, okay, I'm gonna lay in the shade. Um, but anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we're gonna start working him and Jack together a little bit more. Um, and just like taking them out places and doing stuff together with other dogs. Not just Jack, but other dogs in general. So he's doing a good job and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.